Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to Hello, ma'ams and sirs. Thank you for tuning in to my two cent WWE Smackdown review show. I am Ronald Ray, your boy with a cornbread accent. Uh, this is the aftermath of the Jay Uso decision, in which he decided to side with his brother Jimmy instead of a uh, well towing the line of being in the bloodline behind Roman Reigns. A uh, little bit to get to today. Slight build up to. Money in the Bank pay-per-view coming up next Saturday. Uh, other than that, uh, oh yeah, by the way, if I uh, speaking of Money in the Bank, would be nice if you make this decision and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Also, like, share, comment, all that jazz. Anyway, let's let it rip. And starting out, we got the Usos. Usos, they're coming out first, and they got a pretty good pop from the uh, Cajun Dome Louisiana crowd. Uh, Jimmy said he was feeling good. He asked Jay how he felt. Kind of was a little bit down that he's got to go to war with family. Uh, but they pretty much called Paul Heyman a snake in the grass. Uh, the crowd was pretty much chanting Usos, Usos, Usos. But I think I, I can almost tell. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 95% sure they piped in the Usos, Usos. I said, this people count the same ooh, so, 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 they wanted, you know, the crowd, you know, half the crowd go ooh, and the rest of the crowd go so, but, you know, that, that's what they want, that's what they want to hear, so they, they'll get it one way or the other, uh, but it's cool for the fans to play along, anyway, they hopped, their, hopped up their match at the Money of the Bank pay-per-view, or excuse me, premium event with Solo and and it says, hey guys, Welcome to the Usos Penitentiary. Next. And our first match of the night is Rey Mysterio against LA Knight. LA Knight got pretty good, you know, reaction, but other than that one Royal Rumble where they wanted Daniel Bryan to win, you're not going you know, to not going to get the crowd to boo uh, Rey Mysterio, uh, no matter who you are. Like I said, it was only that one time where he was the last man in the Royal Rumble. For, I think that's the first and only time I ever heard the crowd boo Rey Mysterio. You know, that was all on the E on that t on that one. But, uh, but LA Knight still had his fans out there. Uh, speaking of the match, Knight started out with a kick to the gut, punch to the face to get the early advantage. Rey Mysterio would come back, hit the 619. Knight was trying to roll out of the ring, then you know, Rey Mysterio would say, hey, you want to get out of the ring? He did a baseball slide kick. Uh, Knight landed outside of the ring, and Rey Mysterio did a head first baseball slide to to the uh, outside with a splash. Looks pretty cool. Uh, match will go back and forth. They traded counters. In the end, though, LA Knight would nail Rey Mysterio with that blunt force trauma move. And after the match, uh, LA Knight would try to go for the mask of Rey Mysterio, but. Uh, Escobar came in, made the save. So, looks like they're trying to give the big rub to Escobar here. Um, especially, you know, have him with LWO. Uh, he seems to be raised boys right there. And he's got the money in the bank uh, match to showcase. I don't see him winning, but uh, at least he can sit there and showcase what he can do. Uh, I hope it's not Logan Paul. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather have Damian Priest or LA Knight myself, but uh, that's one thing or another. And there's my phone going off. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, next. And the next match of the night is Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, going up against the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Al Fire and Isla Dawn. Uh, this is a unification match between the two teams. Uh, winner take all type deal. Uh, Fire and Basler, uh, Basler started it off. Uh, and Fire and Don did a pretty good job of, you know, doing some pretty good 
double teaming moves and stuff like that. Um, had a pretty, they actually had a pretty good show in this match. Not as good as I think as Caden Carter and Katana Chance is, but again, I thought they did all right. Uh, their advantage didn't last long as Basil would not don off the top rope. Ronda Rousey with a reverse hurricanrana, scary move. Uh, hot, you know, they had to vanish for a while, then the hot day had to dawn. But, you know, as good as they look, in the end, though, it was a double tap out win for Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. So now, uh, I guess they did say they're going to be wrestling on, on all three shows. So, uh, that are undisputed WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, so they gotta get you know do SmackDown, Raw, and NXT. Don't see Ronda Rousey doing that too for too long. Uh, anyway, uh, Ra Raquel Rodriguez was at ringside just watching along, and Ronda asked her what she was doing here and why was she here. Uh, Raquel said, "Hey, she wants a match for a title that they never did lose." Ronda Rousey was like. You know who's we and out came Liv Morgan. So obviously she's back to 100%. A little stare down. The champs, you know, take a step back. So that match will be coming up pretty soon. I can see them winning the titles back. So I, I can definitely see uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan working all three shows. And uh, Shayna Baszler, yeah, but not Ronda Rousey. Anyway, next. Next up is the Grayson Weather effect with Pretty Deadly. They're annoying. <laughs> I can't say they're cringeworthy, annoying. Uh, yeah, boy. Uh, okay. I gotta see a little bit more before I, before I do that final judgment, but for right now, they're kind of annoying. Uh, no, they're not kind of. They're completely annoying. Um, but, hey, that's probably how they're going to draw the heat. Uh, they would actually brag about, you know, beating all the teams in the gauntlet match from the previous week. This will bring out the Street Profits, and this will step, or will set up the match between the Street Profits and Pretty Deadly. As before mentioned, the match now is the Street Profits and Pretty Deadly. Uh, Profits started off pretty strong, some double team moves, uh, then Pretty Deadly worked over Dawkins. Uh, Profits would come back, do a double dive into the commercial. Uh, when we got back, it was pretty daily working over Ford this time. Hot tag to Dawkins. He gets his moves of doom in. Uh, looked like the Profits was going for their finisher, that uh, uh, blockbuster off the shoulders of, of uh, Dawkins. But uh, Kit Wilson will shove Montez Ford off the top rope. Uh, a ro roll up by Elto Prince onto Dawkins, feet on the roast for the extra leverage would give the team a pretty deadly the victory. So uh, I probably seen them win it anyway at all costs because you got to keep them kind of strong going to the tag team match next week. Uh, actually, it's going to be on. Did they say that it's going to be on SmackDown? Which is kind of weird. Uh, they got that match and the women's title match, both on SmackDown. Uh, more on that coming up next. And next would be the match with Charlotte Flair against Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans had a short little moment, but this was all the queen, Charlotte Flair. Uh, she got the tap out win with a figure eight. Oscar would come in, attack, then left uh, Charlotte Flair, Flair laying. And why is Oscar dressed up like someone's grandma? Uh, anyway, uh, I can easily see SmackDown next week. Charlotte Flair beating Oscar. Then Bianca Blair would call her shot. I almost want, want to predict that, hey, They'll wrestle right then, right there, and, you know, Belair will beat Flair, or they'll save it for the uh, premium event, Money in the Bank, and that's when Bianca Belair will beat Charlotte Flair. Another 
notch in the cringiest belt, you know. But that's that's the one to go with. Uh, I think yes, I still think it's still going to be money with Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley. Uh, now that takes us to our main event of the night. Uh, Solo Sokoa against Sheamus. This was set up uh, by backstage incident earlier this evening when Solo and Paul Heyman was coming to the uh, arena or walking through the arena, ran into Ridge Holland, and Solo was in the mood to play, so he gave him the Samoan spike. Uh, looks like it injured Ridge Holland, so that pissed off Sheamus. Uh, of course, Butch is off already in England. That's how they explain his absence because he's got to get ready for uh, Money in the Bank as well. Anyway, this match was a was a good old slobber knocker, as Jim Ross used to say. Uh, back and forth until Solo hit the Samoan drop on the floor. Uh, Sheamus came back. Uh, each of these guys was just laying in the lumber with each other. Excuse me. <clears throat> was laying in the lumber on each other. Looking for that knockout hit. Uh, match would spill out to the floor. Solo would hit the hip attack on Sheamus against a barricade match ended with a no winner uh look like you know Sheamus wasn't able to continue uh just things got out of hand so the referee called it uh when the attendees come out to check on Sheamus Sellers called decided to attack them as well this was until the Usos came to the ring and proceeded to have their own little super kick party uh on Solo's chin uh Kicked by Jimmy, kicked by Jay, double super kick. He got to his knees, another double super kick, laid him out. Uh, Paul Heyman did not like this whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure he called Roman Reigns and he wasn't too happy about it. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to that match. A uh, little more drama to it. Unfortunately, though, sometimes uh, the one thing that scares me, though, is sometimes when they. Families get together and have have matches like this. They seem to not do too well, especially the first one. I remember the first uh, uh, Gold Dust, Dustin Rose against Stardust, Cody Rhodes match. It was on you know in the WWE. Match wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Now their All Elite match uh, was pretty good. Uh, I think they was getting a little more headway as well, which you always got, you know, tip your hat off to AEW for letting them do that. But other than that, um, this does it for me. My sub sandwiches is, is here from Publix, so I'm going to enjoy that while you people hopefully enjoy this video. Uh, enjoy all my content. Okay, probably not all of it, uh, but at least some of it. Uh, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, all, all that crap. Uh, but like I said, I'll enjoy myself. Here at RP Tube Vision, would like to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also, check out Friends of the 